Hello everyone, Grim Chorizo here, and welcome to Wrestling Roundup, the show where I give you this week's wrestling news, rumors, and recap. So let's get started with some results from Fastlane. On the pre-show, Akira Tozawa and Rich Swan defeated the Brian Kendrick and Noam Dar. Samoa Joe defeated Sami Zayn. Gallows and Anderson retained the Raw Tag Team titles against Enzo and Cass. Sasha Banks defeated Nia Jax. In two impromptu matches, Cesaro defeated Jinder Mahal, and The Big Show defeated Rusev. Neville retained the Cruiserweight title against Jack Gallagher. Roman Reigns defeated Braun Strowman. Bayley retained the Raw Women's title against Charlotte. And in the main event, Goldberg defeated Kevin Owens to become the new Universal Champion. So I gotta be honest, I didn't really like Fastlane at all. I thought the Cruiserweight title match was very good. Uh, Strowman and Reigns was a pretty good match, but just that damn ending. Reigns ends, you know, the streak of Strowman, and now Strowman's beat clean. He was beat clean, and I know it's not going to completely kill him. It's just, it's that whole Roman thing. He's got to be the Superman who beats everyone and never loses, and he won here. And then, you know, obviously I didn't like the, the main event. Uh, it was a 15-second match because Goldberg can't do anything else because he's too old and out of shape. Although I shouldn't say that because, I mean, look at me. But uh, he he won with the Spirit of Jackhammer after Jericho's music hit and distracted Owens. But it's just kind of like, I hate this whole thing of, like, the full-time guys. I wouldn't say being punished, but, like, the part-time guys showing up for a big show and taking all the work that the full-time guys deserve to you know, carry out. They deserve to be the main event of WrestleMania because they're doing the work every night. And that's how you build stars. You don't just use old stars in place and to destroy your current stars. Like, it's just, it's just dumb. So, honestly, I just thought that the matches weren't that great on the show. The booking on the show wasn't that great. So, I just wasn't a big fan of Fastlane. Let's move over to Raw. Uh, Kevin Owens confronted United States Champion Chris Jericho, and Jericho challenged him to a match at WrestleMania, and it's going to take place for the U.S. title. Goldberg was in the ring as the new champion, Brock Lesnar came out and then gave him an F5. This is the first bump that Goldberg has taken since his return, so I'm just curious to see how the hell they're going to put on a match uh, that's more than like a minute. Sasha Banks defeated Bayley, which means that at WrestleMania it will be Bayley defending the women's title against Charlotte and Sasha Banks in a triple threat. And to close out Raw, uh, Braun Strowman called out Roman Reigns, The Undertaker came out instead, then Roman Reigns came out and confronted The Undertaker, they looked at the WrestleMania sign, and Undertaker gave Roman a choke slam. Still not too hyped about Roman versus The Undertaker, because Reigns is going to beat Undertaker clean, and it's not going to be a heel turn. If they did that, then it's perfect and it makes sense and I'm okay with it, but it's not going to be that way. It's going to be like a passing of the torch, because Roman's the guy, he's the fucking awesome guy. <sighs> Over on SmackDown, John Cena and Nikki Bella defeated Carmella and James Ellsworth in a mixed tag match. Baron Corbin attacked Dean Ambrose backstage, and it led to Baron Corbin crushing Dean Ambrose with a forklift. Alexa Bliss and Mickie James defeated Natalya and Becky Lynch after Natalya walked out on the match, and Mickie James attacked Alexa Bliss uh, after the announcement that Alexa will be defending the title against all the available SmackDown women. And in the main event of SmackDown, Randy Orton defeated AJ Styles. Uh, to solidify his spot to take on Bray Wyatt for the WWE title in the main event of WrestleMania. First off, I've got to say, I did not watch Raw live. I did not watch Raw in its entirety because that night I was at a WWE SmackDown house show, which was a great show, by the way. Uh, very fun, and I'm glad that I went. I did watch highlights of Raw and saw things, like some of the things that I talked about here. And yes, The Undertaker was on there, and they had some moments. But I'm still going to give the win to SmackDown because overall I thought it was a better show. Uh, really, I thought Fastlane on Raw's part was just not a very good pay-per-view. I didn't think that Raw was all that great. Maybe if I were watching it live, it would have that more appeal for me, but I gotta give it to SmackDown again. So a lot of matches have been added to WrestleMania, including Bray Wyatt defending the WWE title against Randy Orton, Goldberg defending the Universal title against Brock Lesnar, Chris Jericho defending the United States title against Kevin Owens, Bayley defending the Raw Women's title against Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks in a triple threat match. Alexa Bliss defending the SmackDown Women's title against every available woman on the SmackDown roster. And the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal currently has two entrants announced, Mojo Rawley and Apollo Crews. So thanks for watching this week's episode of Wrestling Roundup. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next week. See you later. Death.